an interesting one. So over the years, people have used IUI a lot for so-called unexplained subfertility on the basis that if you can prep sperm, put it into the uterus near where the egg is, perhaps that gets around some of the problems. And, and there are some really keen advocates for IUI. Um, historically, the, the, the trials that were done weren't great and didn't really show benefit um, for lots of reasons, or at least didn't really add up um, to the use of IUI because there weren't great trials with proper controls where people weren't having any treatment at all. There weren't great trials where, where people weren't taking big risks with multiple pregnancy, having um, induced ovulation and, and uh, perhaps enhanced chances by having an extra egg or six kicking around. So those trials really didn't help us in, in a great way. But IUI developed before IVF. It was, a, it was a way of treating and doing something for people. And uh, absolutely, some people got pregnant, whether it, they would have anyway is, is the debate. There is a good study that was undertaken in Aberdeen looking at unexplained subfertility where they did a trial, a proper powered randomized trial looking at couples with with a number of treatments actually <coughs> excuse me one of which was IUI <coughs> but importantly against no treatment and an equivalent number of people got pregnant in both arms in other words natural cycle IUI did not show benefit there have been some European studies that have suggested benefit but they've treated people quite early on in the process and actually, my view is to keep out of hospital and out of people's arms as much as possible and maximise your own chances on your own. So I think um, it, it's not to say that it's not successful. Some people will get pregnant with IUI, but the evidence for benefit, I think, depends a little bit on who you, who you listen to and, and, and what the criteria are for including in it.